guys, you know, once a week. Uh, got a chance to get the family kind of moved in and all settled, so it was good. What about the development from spring with like your players through the summer to now? Like, what have you kind of seen from them out there coming back? Uh, how different they look? What, what has, what's it been like? Uh, that's that's one. Uh, a lot of them, their bodies have changed so a little bit in, in, a, in a good way. Uh, we have some guys that probably needed to add some weight to them, and we have, uh, you know, obviously some guys that needed to get get stronger for uh, a durability standpoint. And I feel like we did a great job. Uh, our strength staff is, is, is phenomenal. Benny and those, those guys did a great job with them. Uh, one of the other things that we wanted to do was uh, work a little bit on our flexibility uh, during the offseason. I thought that uh, they helped us out a, a ton with that as well. We haven't talked to you since. Uh... Jordan Addison came aboard. What's what's he bring to this offense? What makes him so special? Well, if you can run fast, catch very good, and uh, make people miss, you're usually pretty good at this game. And uh, he does all three really well. What was your reaction when you found out him coming here was Ah. I guess I really didn't have a big reaction when I found out it was a possibility because at that point I still never even spoken to him. Uh, you know, getting a chance uh, when he finally came down on his uh, official visit was really the first time that he and I had ever really had a conversation. So uh, getting a chance to get to know him, uh, to know what he was uh, looking for, uh, and, and to figure out if you know this was a, a good fit and if, if we could help him accomplish those goals was was key to me. Uh, and, and then just kind of getting around him to see what he was like as a player. I mean, anybody that uh, watched film or watched uh, college football can see that he's extremely talented. Uh, but I think the biggest and the most impressive thing about him is he is a great person. Uh, and, you know, it didn't take very long in being around him to, to truly understand that. What's to that about his message to you and what he wanted out of this arrangement? He just wanted to be successful. He wanted to be in, in, in a program where they were going to, you know, have an opportunity to win football games. Uh, I think, you know, he's he's kind of a football uh, a film junkie. So, I mean, he has some familiarity with some of the guys that was on our on our roster and, and knew how they uh, play and felt like they, it could, can aid in, in, in his position and what he does. So I think that was, you know, probably the natural, uh, the initial attraction uh, even to us uh, here at UC, and then obviously the tradition that Coach Riley has, uh, has had in developing quarterbacks uh, aided in that. You, you probably weren't watching Pitt games last year. Did you go back and curiously look at some of those games? Uh, I mean, yeah. After you know, after you know, right before he was coming on the visit, you know, Coach Hewitt and myself went back and looked at every play that he had for the last uh, last couple of years, uh, just to you know, once again, kind of get a uh, feel and, and see what you were getting. When you're when you're looking at, at guys in the in the portal, how much homework are you able to do on this is a good guy or this is a guy? What, what, what's the answer when you were doing that and going through that tape of Jordan? Um, well, I last year at Texas A&M we were supposed to play Wake Forest in a bowl game, and they played Pitt, so I was pretty familiar with his skill set. <laughs> so. Uh, when I knew he was coming on the trip, you know, I was pretty fired up because you know, he's certainly a guy that can can do a lot. He's not a one-trick guy. I mean, he's got all kinds of, of tools and, and just an explosive player. And like Coach Simmons said, you know, being around him a little bit here the last month and a half, great person, great worker, doesn't say a whole lot, just comes in every day and works. And uh, it's been fun. Not just with him, but with all of our players that have transferred. Just the way that all these guys have gelled together has been really impressive. You know, I got here a little bit later than most of the staff. Um, and coming into to the situation, I knew there were quite a few other transfers that were already on the roster. And coming in and initially observing uh, the situation, I was so impressed with the way that this whole team gels. You really, when you're around our players, you feel like you're around a team that's been together for two or three years. And obviously we have you know, a group of kids that have been and are eager to improve and eager to, to play to the USC standard. You know, so it's been pretty exciting. And obviously, uh, all of our guys, I think we have an extremely deep unit. You know, when you combine the outside receivers and the inside receivers, and obviously there'll be some guys that'll be interchangeable. But when you look at the group as a whole, 
a lot of depth, a lot of talent, um, but even more fun as a coach, a lot of character. A lot of guys that football is really important to them, yeah. and they come to meetings prepared. Uh, they come to meetings eager to learn. <coughs> and what a great system this is. You know, my first year, uh, you know, working with uh, you know, Coach Riley and obviously working with Coach Simmons, who I think is the very best uh, in this profession as far as the Fun. You know, I know Jordan had a lot inside a bit a slot. Do you expect him to kind of move inside outside? You know, I think that'll be to be determined. Um, you know, certainly in this offense, um, you know, it's evolved over the years. Coach Riley is tremendously creative. Uh, you know, so I don't know the specific plan as far as how it's going to look. That's why we start training camp tomorrow to see how everything comes together. But. Uh, I'm sure he'll be utilized and deployed, you know, as we see fit, what gives us an advantage in, in each game. As you mentioned, there had been so many transfers, some big man transfers. When you see the reigning Litnikov award winner mm -hmm. is in the mix for you guys, how does that hit? Uh, our, our team and our players were excited, you know, because I think at the end of the day, and I think it's a credit to Coach Riley, he's, um, he's created a great culture here. Of, you know, we want to win football games and compete for championships, and I think these players have bought into the totality of that. And so, you know, when you have a player like that, you know, it gives us you know, a better chance to be successful. And, and his attitude and mentality coming in and mixing in with the rest of the team, I mean, it's been fun to watch. It's, I think our, our players were, were excited to, to welcome him here and, and create a lot of competition. Um, but ultimately, it's going to make us a better team. <laughs> Even without giving anything away, maybe how many conversations have the staff had about how to use them? Have you had a number of those talks already? I mean, not, nothing that would be out of the ordinary of any summer conversations as far as utilizing your personnel. Um, you know, there's always going to be starting points, but um, I imagine those as we start practicing and seeing how everybody fits together, you know, those conversations will certainly increase. We talked to Kyle about the league round. That was kind of from a running back's perspective. It has a slot. I know there's some talk about playing him kind of there too. What stands out about his skill set? Well, for me, um, you know, I was in, at the previous place I was at, I was aware of the league. I mean, we were very far down the road as far as recruiting him. He was going to be with Coach Riley. But, uh, you know, I was aware of his skill set. But really, when I got here, it was the first time I actually sat and watched this whole highlight. Film. So I'm like, it doesn't matter what position that kid plays. Uh, you know, he's going to be special. And he's got such a, a joyful personality, you know. It's fun to be around players that really enjoy playing football and competing and have a smile on their face and, and play hard. So, uh, yeah, he's, he's certainly an electrifying talent. And it'll be fun to, to see how he fits into the thing, too. So are you his position coach, do you think, for the most part? What's that? Are you his posi position coach? Relique? Yeah. I think that'll be to be determined where he, where he uh, spends most of his time. Thank you. Thank you. Thinking or even tense, you know, would, would be a disservice to him and a disservice to Jordan because that's get out of all that. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to try to assume what he was thinking. Uh, so I just kind of leave it alone. Uh, he's here now, and I just let him know how we feel. Where do you think he's going to play inside, outside, moving around? Or you know, there's a lot of people that is going to be uh, looking at a lot of information this fall to kind of figure out how we're going to do it. If I was to answer that question, it would probably make their, their job a little bit easier. So I'm going to have them stay up and do homework and, and try to figure that one out. But I do appreciate the question. Yeah, because yeah. you guys kind of pop back and forth between you and Luke. It's like players going both ways. Or... The way, uh, kind of way it, it works out, you know, is – Depends on what side of the field you're on. So, I mean, if he's on, on the right side of the field, then he may be with me. If he's on the left side of the field, he may be with Luke. <laughs> the uh, group you have, uh, Josh Henson earlier was asked about the strength of the offense, and he mentioned the, the receivers, you know, the deepest group and stuff. I do kind of feel like that's the case there with, with your guys. I mean, I feel like we're still in that we, we, we got a proven mentality and proven stage. Uh, do I think we have an abundance of talent? Yes. Do I think we have all the size, the strength, the speed that we need? Yes. But I still think that, you know, who we are as a unit and, and, and who we want to become as a unit is yet to be seen. And, you know, that's what fall camp is about. Uh, you know, 
I think the strength of our team is going to be our, our, our toughness. And, you know, that's not just going to be dependent on the interior line. Uh, uh, we, we need to establish a physical presence on the perimeter as well, uh, both with with the ball and without the ball. So, I mean, I think, there, you know, camp for us is, is an opportunity for us to sharpen up uh, a lot of our loose ends uh, from where we left off in the spring and, 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 and be ready to really be a group that, that that's, you're going to have to deal with. Was springtime even more important 